Hey, what's up? I'm Jer and this is Dashi. Let's get to it. Before we started building Dashi, I was the director of a global crowd testing community. We had 48 people on the team and a lot of projects to do every day. So in that job, I found myself with almost never less than seven tabs open at any given time. And these seven tabs represent the most common that I had to use. We built Dashi for busy people like ourselves who need to get a lot of work done online. Let me show you how. It'll probably happen in our lifetime. We just have to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> just kidding, it totally works. Here's Dashi in Chrome and here's Dashi in Firefox. So when I was working my previous job, I would always have my email or a home page with bookmarks as my number one tab. That's been replaced by Dashi and that was on purpose. We made Dashi to replace our new tab homepage. So instead of just launching over to another new tab, Dashi was to replace those tabs. So my second tab would always be a calendar. And it looked kind of like this. Yuck. Yeah, gross, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm even getting stressed out looking at it now. So what we did was we just added a calendar widget. So let's log in with Firefox, select your calendar, and then hit allow, and then sync. There's my calendar, let's see how Chrome did. There it is, cool. So we wanted to be able to take away a calendar tab and just have meetings right here. And that's what it is. Here's our calendar tab in the sidebar. So let's bring it all the way up here. Calendars on top, cool. The third tab I often had open was Google Translate. Now, let me give you an example. We had a ton of testers from all over the world and they would constantly be sending in information and questions in different languages. And we needed to know what it was in English and I'm not very good at many other languages. So what I wanted was to be able to have a translator directly inside of my home page. So I'll give you a real example. Some testers would say in Hindi, this sentence, please do the needful. And I wasn't sure exactly what they meant. So if you translate that and then copy it from Hindi and then paste it and then go to English, you understand that they're saying, please take necessary action. That made a lot more sense to me. Or like, please do something about this. Please do the needful. I, I was just kind of confused. So anyway, I wanted a translator for situations like that. Meeting time. Okay, let's close that meeting and let's close Google Translate. Two tabs down. Okay, next was checklists. So we've made it possible to connect directly into Todoist. So let's do it again. Let's jump over to Firefox. Hit connect. If you are signed in like I was, there you are. Here is your list of things to do from Todoist. Let's see if Chrome pulled it in. Yep, there it is. Cool, so let's pull that one away. Three tabs down. Now, a lot of times like when I was working, I wanted to just take a short break and see how much money I had lost. So I would go over to stocks like this and check them. But you need a whole tab open for that. You need to see all these news articles and like market trends and anyway, it's distracting and I knew it, but I would do it all the time. Anyway, okay. So we made stocks available right here in Dashi. Let's add in Google and Apple. And how about Microsoft? So instead of having to have an entire tab open, you can just select the stocks that you want. Now, another game that was fun to see how much money I was losing was watching crypto. If you've ever tried to participate with anything in crypto, you know that yes, you can totally make money, but also um, you can get wrecked. But if you wanna see how, uh, how wrecked you are, you can do that right here. Uh, you can go ahead and hit search and add stuff like this. So we'll go Ethereum, let's add Avalanche and Cardano. These are all really different. They run totally different chains, but all equally viable potentially in the future. Okay, so then that's six tabs down or was that five? Another one that I needed was a world clock. We had people all over the world. Our team now only has three, which is much easier, but at the previous job I had, we had people in every single time zone, maybe not every time zone, most time zones. So you can go here and search for literally any time zone you want and then add it in. And then to like set up meetings, just go here, select what you want, like Los Angeles, Thursday at 12.30. So these are the times. So it's 12.30 Pacific, 11.30 Alaska, 1 a.m. in Asia. So it makes it really easy to see like 
will this time work for everyone on my team? So there you have it. That's how I was able to take seven tabs down to one dashboard. Check it out. Let me know what you think. See you soon.